If it wasn't for the footprints we wouldn't know about before, Australia's history we have today would not make sense anymore. If it wasn't for the footsteps which created the path we share, our survival in this landscape would lead us to nowhere. If it wasn't for the footpaths still here from long ago, our heritage in writing would still reflect our woes. If it wasn't for the footprints which were made into the sand, the footprints of First Australians, our Aboriginal clans, if it wasn't for their footprints which shared the land and law, Australians could not know a history from this land that was before. She's always been wanting to know about the different cultures, where they came from, what they did. And when I see her doing all these things, I went over to Fitzgerald's school the other day to see them working over there. And it was just fantastic to see how the children generated towards her and got her opinion and all that, you know, like children had things to say and children wanted to say what they knew and what they'd heard and their feelings. And she has the ability to just bring that out of the children. It didn't matter whether we had a little boy in there, he was two. She worked well with him and then we had a grandmother and she worked well with her. It didn't matter the age group. You know, she was Everyone was welcome. We were pretty excited uh, when the song room was first mooted. Uh, one of the reasons was that we've got 26% of our population Indigenous, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students and South Sea Islander students. Um, we were having a little trouble connecting with our community. We needed a vehicle to help connect. I've been involved with the story uh, telling program with the Song Room in Mackay at a number of different schools and um, it's been an opportunity for me to be able to use my um, abilities with um, literacy and numeracy and my um, passion to, with um, creative writing and poetry to express that and share that with the children in Mackay. I think it was rewarding to be able to work with three levels of age groups with children and adults with storytelling. Um, we had the adult group uh, parents. One of the grandparents walked into the parent program with one of these booklets and he'd written his story onto it. And I said to him, oh, I said, where did you get your booklet from? And he actually said his granddaughter showed him how to make it because she'd learned it in the song room class. So, um, yeah, that was a bit of an insight into, I suppose, the young teaching the older generation but still linking it up with storytelling. So he was able to write his story and his story is included in our parent um, booklet. So that was a, a nice way to see the booklet being used by the students. I've never seen these, but the old man that, that drew these drawings, he said that there's some paintings up in the gorges up there and he's actually drawn them on his pictures. We had the Kazil Bayan uh, playtime group, which were pre uh, school age children and then we had the in school song room program which were primary school age children so that was very rewarding to have the opportunity to have different um, uh, students to work with throughout the week. Zelda's been fantastic in her ability to liaise with the admin, work with the teachers, work with the kids and more importantly uh, now working with the parents uh, because if you've got your parent engagement, you know, the kids are more likely to connect as well. My daughter uh, involved her grandmother in the project as well, so there was a, three generations uh, involved with the project, uh, myself, my daughter and her grandmother. The first component of the storytelling program was oral storytelling. Then as we developed our oral storytelling, we also were engaging in discussions about stories generally and how they're told and how they're passed on. Um, song, music, dance, theatre, um, 
are all forms of storytelling as well. And uh, when you look at the bigger picture, um, storytelling, I would describe it as a natural part of learning. This little girl, she did hers and hers was about fishing. And she says, my family likes to go fishing. We like fishing at Town Beach, Mackay, and the last time we went fishing there, we caught a stingray. We begin our storytelling program with oral storytelling. We engage in a program called um, Picture This Story, or an activity that I've created. And um, it, it just basically encourages children to tell stories orally. Um, it, it's difficult to move on to the written side of storytelling if we don't um, engage children in, in just light-hearted discussion and, and that sharing. Um, and the children were then asked to choose pictures. And the, picture, the theme for choosing them um, could have been your holidays, um, my place, um, my favourite activities. And children then chose a picture and they came back. We'd, we'd sit in a circle or a yarning circle and each child would then share their story as to why they'd chosen that particular picture. My dad is trying to get, um, take pictures of all the birds in Australia um, before he dies. Like, wow! This picture reminds me of when we went to Yangla and there was a tree there and I tried to skim a rock and it accidentally hit a turtle. <gasps> My name is Clinton. My name is Lily. My favourite thing about doing the Song Room with Zelda is telling stories to other people, doing picture stories. We now have 358 of these little booklets made by each individual child from those schools that participated. So the um, book is in what we call a hot dog template and the hot dog template it just opens out into an A3 page. All right, boys and girls, what I'd like you to do is to fold your sheet of paper in half lengthwise. Please make a very, very strong crease down that fold. Very good. All right, let's open up our sheet again. And this time we're going to fold it in half, but in the opposite direction. So we're going to fold it in half. So we've got a small rectangle shape. Turn it around so the crease is up against you or on your tummy. I want you to fold the top sheet back down so that it meets halfway. If you turn your page over and fold the other part down, the best way to see if it's a hot dog is to hold it like a hot dog. That's it, you've got it. So that line in the middle, I'm only going to cut it as far as the middle. So it looks like a pair of trousers. Very good. This year in Sung Room, Miss Quackaway told us that art isn't all the same. It's different in the way you see it. So when I saw this piece of bark, I thought, it would be skin for my people in the story. In my story, I'm going to pull off the petals and use them as skirts for girls. Within making these um, storybooks, the children were encouraged to work together so that those boys and girls who um, found it really different, difficult or had a mental block on how to be creative on their page, those who could see that that piece of bark really did look like a puppy dog, they could share that with each other so it sort of overcame um, a lot of the issues with um, I'm not an artist I don't know how to draw so the children that didn't to, who, who say well you know I really can't draw anything they had the opportunity to collage their page and the ones that um, were um, got mental blocks with how to use the collage um, there were always people there to help them and we had a number of different themes in my community bush places language um, in My Place was one of the themes and I thought this would be a good one for all Mackay children to relate to. So In My Place, it is colourful. Uh, there are story places. We use our knowledge to look after our land. There are the people I love. 
the pioneer river meets the sea. And I particularly ask the children to dedicate their storybooks um, to somebody because um, it just gives their stories a purpose and a meaning. Usually we're a big sporting community and it's been a great opportunity to have uh, an artistic outlet and um, encourage the children and parents to participate in this way. It gives the school community an opportunity to be creative and also enjoy their learning at the same time. It's rarely I've come across a program in a school that's um, connected with students so readily. We believe our students are literacy skills have improved, reading and writing skills have improved and I, I would attribute some of that success to the song room. I think in the classroom aspect of things, I know a student commented on, I have new friends now because I know more about everyone in my class and our families are similar but we didn't know that before we went through the process. We've got one student that was uh, disengaged from learning and having significant behaviour problems uh, within the classroom and, and at, at playtime. This particular student would come to school early to work on the uh, song room story, uh, almost forgot about antisocial behaviours and worked well with other students. The, the ability to take a risk with reading and writing uh, is a very, very um, strong motivator for success with kids. And I, I firmly believe the song room has given that particular student that, that vehicle to take risks and be appreciated for the skills that they possess. It's all creative and uh, everyone can enjoy it. They've become published, little published authors, so that's been quite an achievement. I think because the teachers now understand that process of that particular booklet and the meaning behind it and the value that they got out of it with this year's students, mm. it's something they can carry out with their the students for next year. One of the, um, the highlights of the parents program with the, the Pace and Schools was that we were able to bring three schools together, two quite large schools and a smaller school. Um, and the parents of those schools were able to um, contribute a page collectively. To culminate that, we had a launch and it was overwhelming to see parents from three different schools come together and celebrate the book. Now that we have the books, um, I would like to read to the children, let them see what they have created from their own imagination and make them proud of who they are and of their culture. Family, culture, um, and the country that we live in is, is very important and I think if we can develop uh, that ethic in our younger children, no matter which countries they come from, that Australia is, has got this, this history and is willing to work with each other with the differences in the playground. Um, hopefully we will have good decision makers about um, things to do with our country in the future. I'd like to thank Song Room from my community um, because we are looking forward to next year and we have got Song Room on our list. Thank <laughs> you.